uh, hi everyone and welcome back so here we are and here we are uh, deciding on the database entities i mean database tables which we are going to have for the whole system so if we identify all the entities which we are going to use so consider that user will be obviously a primary table okay there we have a simple basic user attributes and user type user type can be end user user type can be a restaurant owner user type can be a delivery guy okay so that we are maintaining based on the type now let's say uh, what all other entities we are going to have is uh, so we can just copy the user template and just paste it here okay, and then we can just use it as another table so here this another table will be another table for the restaurants okay the restaurant will also have the same attributes name email name will obviously will not be there it will have address right logo if there is some kind of a restaurant chain then we can have a logo url and all these fields okay now restaurants will have a menu right so we can have one more which is about uh, the menu items right so this is actually menu of all these different restaurants and it will have a relationship with the restaurant id name like a menu item a description of each and every menu item and few other fields which are like uh, the quantity price and all price quantity we can decide the types later and type we can delete okay these are uh, some of the fields right now you can see the restaurant menu what all are entities you can see uh, there can be one more entity which is payment right we can command c command v and there is one more entity we can call it as a payment paste it here the payment will have an association like payment id order id order i mean for which you are doing a payment uh price then it will have an association with the user id and all right payment uh, order id price and payment mode all these information you will store in the payments so these are the entity which we see then we can also have a, which is like if you want to add communication like then it can be some messages you are posting means copy okay, we have we should have one more table it is actually overlapping so payments then we have another table which is messages or communication so this is like a chat we can use message description it can be a long text and uh, payment mode we don't need I mean, is the, if there is a particular query regarding a uh, order, because you will be raising a message or comment if you have something to talk about a particular order, then it's like a messages or the communication with the support team. What else you can think of? We have a user, we have a payment entity, we have uh, restaurants, we have menu of those restaurants. So if you see the the uh, what all things we are going to show on the UI. Let's say help and support uh, search where you can uh, search the dish for a particular restaurant. So we have restaurant entity, the menus, okay, authentication, authorization that is user entity. Uh, we have we are managing the address of a user. There can be a there, there there is always a multiple address which user will try to choose when he is ordering some item. Then what we can do is we can have a user address also.
I mean, you can you can choose to have a multiple address while you are delivering uh, while you are ordering an item. So we can have addresses. So ID, name, city, street, uh, state, phone, pin code. All this information. So we have covered. Let's see. Name uh, user will have a relationship with the address, and menu restaurant will have address with the menu. All these items. Let's see on the UI. What else is there? We have sign in. We have a cart item. So when you are creating, so there should be a cart entity which should be able to hold your your orders, right? So let's go to database again. We have to create one more entity. So this is a payment messages. There is a cart we need to add. So in the cart, uh, there should be relationship with order, right? Order price payment mode, and this cart will have all the items, right? Item price order. Okay, we will keep adding more. So these are the entities which we see broadly. Okay, so we are going to create these entities in real and then we are going to play around with them. So the user, user will have an address, right? It's, it will have an association like one to many. Right, so it is like we are going to have a user ID for each and every address. One user can have multiple addresses and then restaurant. Same with the restaurant, restaurant will have multiple menus, right? So there will be restaurant ID for each and every menu item. Then uh, we have these payments. User will also have a payment relationship with the payment mode. Like you can also save your different payment modes, one to many. It's reverse. Yeah, one to many. We have a user ID. Similarly with the messages. Okay, there can be a multiple messages from a single user. And then there is a card, like because user will be ordering it. This is one too many. While you place the cart, and there would be uh, because you are ordering against a particular restaurant, right? So it should belongs to a restaurant also. One too many. Restaurant ID. So this is the kind of relationship we are looking for. These are like messages. So if you are referencing a particular order, right? So this is a cart, cart we are considering as an order only, right, and payments will be initiated against the order, right. So there would be an order entity, order is actually a process, right, uh, we already have a cart, you have added all these things inside a cart, and this will become a single order, right, so it can also represent as an order, we don't have order entity. Order will have your all the associations together. User is making order against this particular restaurant for these many items, right? So we can have one entity which is order. We can duplicate this one. Uh, we can delete this association. Okay, so I'm talking about here order. Let's move this to a little bit left. So identifying these entities are the first thing which we should do, order. So order should associate all these entities together, right? So there is order ID, okay? Then uh, there is a user. We will assign the association relationship with this, right? So let's say, to hold delete selected, payment board, yeah. So this order will associate itself with all the cart items, right? And the user ID, because user is placing this order against this restaurant and these are the number of menu items. So we are going to create a single order for it, right? So we will collect all the, the cart items, okay? Against this user and this restaurant. So we will normalize this tables and we will finalize the attribute, but this is an initial blueprint of all the entity tables we are going to have in our system okay so 
that's this is all we have in this video now next thing is uh, designing the architecture of microservices and finalizing these entities